Carl, before I let you go, much of what the president-elect inherits, uh, the tough economic times, the war as you raised, health care, so many issues facing so many Americans, there's a lot of finger-pointing that the Bush administration is responsible for a lot of what ails us right now. And I wonder whether at the time that the President Bush took office, he could not have predicted that we would have 9-11 and that national security needed to be priority number one. Do you predict in the end the legacy for President Bush will be that we have not had another terrorist attack, that he has kept us safe, and that his priorities were in order? I think that will be a big part of it. I think history is going to see him as a man who put America on a war footing in a struggle that will shape the nature of this century. He will be seen as someone who liberated Afghanistan and Iraq. Fifty million people now live in freedom in those two countries who did not know freedom before. And he will also be seen as somebody who created a uh, strategy f to confront terrorism that is going to make America and the world safer in the years to come. Look, uh, judgments of history are harsh in the, in the short run, uh, and unfairly so many times. Uh, Harry S. Truman left office. Uh, in fact, there was a slogan at the time was to air as Truman. Uh, he, left, uh, he left town, uh, you know, not very popular. And yet history regards him now as a much different person. And I think this president sure. was well, not going to leave, leave office in that same, same state. He's going to be on relatively low ratings, but much better than, than some of his predecessors. History, though, is going to be kind to him at the end. I'm, I'm absolutely confident. And sometimes it. that historical perspective does take time. Carl Rove, thanks sure for taking your time. Great to see you. you. Bet. Thank you, Jamie. Thanks for having me. Merry Christmas. Happy New Merry Year. Merry Christmas to you. Take care.